hello everybody how are you how are you doing i know it's been a while since i uploaded some content on this channel but here we are with a brand new project a tire that turned into a table it's your girl jerry kabiru yes as usual jerry wakafiro if you're new to this channel i create content around diy creativity innovation handmade whatever you call it sometimes we visit places so if you're new to this channel please please consider subscribing to my channel then after subscribing turn on your notification bell so that you get to know when i put up a new video now this is the table that we are making look at it we will start with getting the yarn take measurements of your tire from one side to the other then i do sit down and cut the yarns so many of them then after cutting you have the glue the counter cohesive glue apply it to your tower tire please wash your tire before working on it remove all the dust it it makes it easier then the starting point of your tire where you put your yarn it's always a bit hard but i keep on saying do it again and again and again till you get it no giving up so my yarns goes from one side to the other then i use an old toothbrush with glue to just brush it on the yarns after that yeah make sure everything is falling into place continue doing this you have to repeat it from one side of the tire to the other do not give up it takes days by the way this project sometimes i can sit down up to eight hours and i won't finish going around on a, a tire then i will go sleep next day pick it up until i get it done so if you want to start this this project i want to let you know it takes weeks to finish for me it can take a minimum of three days yet i'm used to doing this um up to a maximum of 14 days that means i'm doing other things and maybe spending two to three hours a day for this project but at the end of it it is worth it whenever i deliver my project to my clients i always feel like wow it was worth it so the reason why i'm brushing even the yarns is that these yarns the sizeo yarns have very small sticking yarns, yarns that are sticking out brushing it helps to smoothen the whole tire then i love using the the gloves because after that i don't need to really really stick keep on washing the sticky glue out of my hands it's very easy so as i was doing this project i took a break in the middle of this project and decided to visit a market and this market is called Gikomba Market. If you're in Kenya, that's where I get the materials for everything. And I went to get the legs. Here we are. So this guy is a carving guy. They do carve different types of wood. And I went to them for them to carve the legs for my table. Yes, legs for the tables. Now, there are a few things that you need to consider when you're going to buy your legs or to ask for the carving. Is your tire too heavy if your tire is too heavy you need thick legs if your tire is light you need long legs so for this project in the beginning i had gone for thin legs and then i realized they were not able to hold the weight of the tire so i went back that one i did not record it was on a rush and i got some thick legs but meanwhile just enjoying this is my next project to learn i want to learn how to carve it looks amazing it looks relaxing yes so i got three legs for the first time but then when i came and placed them they were not holding the weight of my tire very well so i went and undid them and got four legs instead of three legs for tables you can have three legs for a seat you need four legs for the balancing so they take wet wood when it's still wet and they carve it to whatever you want and then it takes like a day to dry um, and you can apply whatever varnish you want on top of your legs so there they are complete 
from that fresh wood to this so i came back home tara and we're going to finish threading our tire so we are done we are almost done just a few more yards a few more yards there you go make sure you close everything everything and then after that we are going to now put another yarn or circular yarn on top of this and the reason why we are putting is that we want to protect this yarn is not to come out you want to cover them and protect them so this is the bottom side i'm using i'm using a waved yarn it's not the small yarn and the reason I'm, why i'm using this is that on the bottom here we will put some wood which will protect the table anyway so go around putting a yarn on top of another yarn is not easy not easy and then after putting that yarn I like putting glue just to make an assurance that everything will fall into place we put another yarn Then once we were done with that side, we are going to turn our table to the this other side. Now this side will be a bit different. We are going to take time on it because this is the top part. This is where your client will see what you're doing or my client sees what I'm doing. So I will take the small yarn, go round, round, round and it needs patience. Your back will ache so you deserve a massage you love massages like me if not go for a stretch it will help your back so and they say if it's your first project keep doing it repeat it until you get it till you get it right even me it has taken me years and many projects for me to get it right So we are almost done with this side. Heating it, you've seen, it helps the yarn settle down or attach itself to the glue. So there we go we are done now we are going to paint before we paint the tire i started with painting the legs if you use the furnish or the mahogany and uh, when i bought it i did not ask if it was fast dry so i just bought it i had no idea but i learned their fast dries and slow dries this was a slow dry which took me a day or not a day days like two days for it for the wood to dry so meanwhile I leave it and move on to other projects and then I come back to the table that's how you see my clothes changing and sometimes I just wake up from the bed straight to my projects don't even have time to change my pajamas I just get into it So there we go we are painting the tire so many videos i've done about painting we use i use fast dry synthetic paint and i use my brush to paint i'm hoping in the future that i will be having a machine to paint but meanwhile 
I just use the brush. Now, if you're using the brush, I, I would give you an advice, start with the dark, with the light color. Like for example, I started with the orange before going to the brown, because once your brush gets a dark color, you really need, have, you really need to clean it out very well. So I apply the paint, make sure your paint is not so thick, not too thin, in the middle that it will soak in and settle on the yarn. The good thing I like about this paint is that even if you pour something on the tire, it won't come out. These paints, you can find them on a um, car yard or a garage where they are fixing cars. Ask for a fast dry. Then after that, we're going to now work on the bottom side. Those are the legs. I went and uh, cut that piece of wood that is circular. It's a thick plywood that will be able to take the weight of this tire. So I'm using nails instead of screws for the Attaching wood to wood, I really like using nails because I feel like it really grasps one another very well. And uh, for me, I use my eyes to measure or see where the legs will go. Use, usually put one nail, one nail, then turn it around and see if um, what I'm seeing is good or bad before adding any other nail. So you add nails to whatever amount you feel that is right for your work. For me, three nails were enough. So once we are done, there it is, turn around, check if the legs are firmly attached, they were firmly attached. What I do before attaching the bottom to the tire, I like trying it out to see how it looks like, to, to see if I'm getting what I had visualized in my imagination. So far so good, everything was going on well or is going on well. So now we are going to attach that screw now you're going to use the screws to attach the wood and the tire you can't use nail on that you have to use screws so i'm just pushing the screw to hold on a little bit before drilling it
so there we are done on that side and now we're going to get our glass yay and put it on top of the table one thing i love love is unwrapping the glass because then you get to i get to feel like i'm unwrapping the present always looking forward to that part and then people keep on asking me how do i buy the glass where do i get the glass go to a place where they are selling glass tell them to sell for you a thick glass not a thin glass and then you go with the diameter of your tire then you place accord you place your order according to the diameter of your tire so there we go we are done what do you think so far about this project let me know on the comment section do not forget to give this thing video a thumbs up i am grateful you watch from beginning now we are at the end and i will say bye bye have a blessed week don't forget to check out my instagram i'm jerry kabiru on facebook i'm jerry kabiru in case you do any project please tag me and until then bye